Hello guys, uh, today I'm working on Sony 555 ESJ and uh, this is my deck, I have got it in uh, half working condition so it was not playing any high frequencies at all uh, I'm already did work on the tape transport installed the new pinch rollers and uh, that's the shitty pinch rollers which has been installed here you see the uneven I probably cheapest Chinese rollers <laughs> I have ever seen uh, and additionally uh, tape pass was so screwed badly as that uh, azimuth was so off it was not playing any high frequencies at all okay so now when I have tape transport uh, service it uh, let's check measure params. I'm already measure it. Uh, it plays exactly the same as a new Sony K3 we tested. My other like ESA, the golden one, plays almost the same, a little bit better on 15 kilohertz. So it's technically plays plus two decibel to the new K3 level on one channel and the other channel is exactly the same all right so this is the sweep tape i installed let me see okay here we playing let me put levels minus 20 see how stable it is and here is the oscilloscope here is the level and azimuth it goes from 400 gears to 15 kilogears. You may see yourself. See, on the high frequencies, a little bit intermodulation, but all in all, and here's on spectrum. One. Here we're going like ten, eight, I guess. So I probably didn't adjust levels yet because let me see. I didn't tune up computer sensitivity and input sensitivity. So I believe let me see it should be minus fifteen, I believe. I, yeah, so it should be fine for our goals. So you see that it goes up 10 kilogears, same level 12, 14, 15, and goes down. No change on the level. Okay, let's check the other side, I believe it's also recorded like minus 10 decibel. I don't remember exactly. No, it's still minus 20. But this goes quicker, it's just between 1 and 10 kilohertz. Just, just to see level. Okay, right, so it's pretty nice deck. Let me see if on the opposite side, azimuth a little bit off. On this tape on this place let me check uh, chrome tape i believe this one was recorded with high levels i need the let me see yeah it's it's high levels this is is almost good. I may adjust it a little bit. <laughs> and here is spectrum. C5, 8, 10, 
12, 14, and goes back from 400 up. Good. Levels don't change, so that's a good sign. So I'm going to find this side. Should be between one and ten kilohertz. Okay, we get to ten. And again, one kilohertz, two, three, four, five. Okay, right. levels as are. Everything is good. I just remembered I forget to demagnetize the heads on this deck. I usually do it on every deck, so we have to turn off power and use the magnetizer tool. <clears throat> it looks like that. When I turn on, it produces magnetic field, but it's uh, uh, variable, so it's kind of AC field, and as a result, it will remove all magnetics from any metal material it's attached to. Okay, so just to make sure everything around, all screws. I don't know who was doing here before. As I tell you, like it's service was like, uh, hey boss, we just the service at your deck install the cheapest Chinese rollers, screw it, tape us, and now it sounds like pretty bad. So you would better sell it. <laughs> uh, and that's a frequent case, like when guys don't don't know what they're doing. I right, it's done, like 15 to 20 seconds, and it should be good. And you may check one more time if it's real still perform good. So now we will install the chrome tape back. And let's see, it should be 400 gears to 15 kilohertz. Hi. See, 15, again, 400. Four, five, ten. See, no change in the levels. It goes pretty smoothly, and even between left and right channel. Good. Now, let's see how it will record. That's why we would need to adjust levels. I will switch back here to 400 gears. Okay, I need to check out the devices. Okay, it's proper. And now we need to adjust sensitivity. So I will go to source. Okay, leave computer levels. Ah, it's, 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 it's minus 10. Okay, here is the level. Here we go. So we should get when like zero will just lit up. Okay. And we're almost here. So I may adjust settings a little bit. Sensitivity. Okay, done. So it's factory settings. Let's test how it's been. Set. Let's start from the, I believe, level tape. Here we go. I will set level tape and let's see. It should play Dolby level. Switch into the tape. And play back. Levels are off. It should be minus one decibel. And it's not. So. We have to adjust it right here. Okay, now it's Dolby here. And it still needs to, to get to minus one decibel here. Okay. 
and the second channel. Okay, so that's the Dolby. Uh, it shows Dolby here. Minus one from the zero level. Why? It's pretty sad. How stupid. That's why levels were off as well when we were testing my frequency slip tapes. So now when we have levels set, we may check. So I believe this side um, I should go like minus 10 decibel. Yeah, see, minus 10. And it's minus 10 here. Good. I may adjust a little bit. If it's it's off, should be like that. Now let's see frequencies. See it's close. For some reason it shows minus forty here. I'm not sure why. It should be minus ten. See. Yeah. But it goes pretty smooth, same levels. Good. I would say even like a little bit increases to the high. Up to 10 decibel. So we place one decibel higher on each channel than the new K3. See? Here it drops to 400 hertz, so left channel should be. A little bit adjusted okay. and then like when it gets to 15 kilogears it plays plus one decibel and left channel even like plus one and a half decibel wow this means the deck is like like new shape that's good these days find a good deck with good heads it's nightmare Okay, next we will be recording and we will be checking levels, recording levels, we will be using type 2 tape first and also in index, we should use type 2 tapes, let me see, and here is access, so we should start from these holes, type 2, then type 1, and then metal here. I believe wires should not make us a problem. I'm trying to fast forward to the good spot on this tape. And then we'll probably reverse it like that. Check level. Okay, we have level here, level here, and then we will be recording minus 20 decibel. Okay, and we need to adjust bias first. Okay, let's check. I believe calibration in the middle. Let's check how it will record. So this is a little bit different from the ESA version, so it has Dolby S here. And calibration button is moving from the middle to the right side. And MPX filter moved from this switch to here. And we don't have CD direct input anymore. Okay. Now, let's do record. Source, and here's the tape. Okay. And I see levels a little bit off, but we're interested to see between 400 gears and 15 kilogears. Right. It's pretty good, so we just need to adjust one decibel on the left channel. Okay, 400 gears, you see, 
15 kilohertz. Okay. Left channel, Chrome should be right here. Got it. Some reason doesn't adjust. Maybe it's different. Let me see. Is this spot here? No, this won't adjust as well. Okay, let me let me find, and I will get back to you. I really need some light to see better. Right? No, it, I was correct. It should be right here. Left channel, com tape. It's right here. Maybe I didn't get into it. Here we go. Yeah. So, see, now we have 15 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, a little bit brighter, and 400 gears. Good. Even. Oops, sorry. Now, we set normal tape. And we will do the same. We are recording. So it's 400 gears, again right channel a little bit higher than left, and 15 kilohertz. Yeah, left channel, I was touching it, need to get it back. But it doesn't change anything, oh it's metal, yeah, so here. Oh, it's hard to get in there. I I get it. So now it's here. Now I will adjust it like that. Okay, fifteen kilohertz, four hundred gears, fifteen kilohertz. Right channel level a little bit under bias. It. Let's let's fix it. It was metal. Uh, like that. Fifteen and four hundred. One kilohertz, three brighter, six, ten, fifteen. Okay, as you may see. It will be a little bit brighter in the middle. Okay. And now metal tape. For TDK, my position of bias should be like 4 p.m. on Sony DeX when we tune in. Now here is a level minus one. And on 15, one. Why it doesn't look good? Ah, I was touching both channels. Yeah, I screwed it up. Positions. Okay. Here we go. One channel. And the other channel. Okay, now let's check. 15 kilohertz, 400 gears. 15 kilohertz. Okay, even. Now I will adjust the level on the right channel. It should be right here. Record level. It's a little bit too much. Even 15 and 400. See, even good. So now check without a Chicks Pro on 
400 gears, nothing changed, so on 15 kilogears. Nothing changes, that's good. This means we set everything properly, and we don't need to readjust the check sprue. Why? Now, calibration. Turn on calibration. Technically, we are right there. A little bit off of the level, but we may just it. Let me see. 400 gears, what we will record. It's full level. Okay. Source tape. A little bit off. Should be like that. Source tape. Okay. So this means that we need to adjust calibration a little bit. And it should be. Oh, let me. Every model, different position of the spots. So checks pro checks F. I need to find where in this version <laughs> calibration should be adjusted just a little bit. In ESA version it was two pots right here. Or maybe, maybe this one on top. I can check. Yeah, calibration left right. And let me see these two others. Need to see. No, this one is, I believe, is the current. So this two calibration. Just a little bit. Yeah, see, calibration low and calibration high. Yes, these two pots here. Okay. Right here, good. So now uh, let's go to minus 20 and uh, here will be white noise. Let's record it. Okay. See, we have a little bump in the middle here. Uh, let me see, switch high. I guess that's on the high. Normal position and low. It's will reduce highs. Fine. Interesting. So this equalization switch, you see it has three positions. To the right it will record more high frequencies, to the left it will record less high frequencies. That's how it works. Yeah. And the later models, they made it more sophisticated. All key series, they have a pot, and they have complicated logic and lots of uh, RC chains, which uh, operates with transistors. That's how it's adjust equalization. Why? Let's see how it will record type one tape. So put bias in the middle. Ordained. Yeah, you see, technically up to 16 kilogears and 17 is minus 3, or probably 18 minus 3. So, standard Sony response. Good. I don't know what else. Let's measure one on flutter. Let's see what I get with this deck today. I'll use 
use my trust tape, which I recorded on the Kamichi Dragon. And here what we get, speed 2995. And wow, flutter is 0.03%, perfect. The golden one was a little bit lower, like 0.022 to 0.025. And, but they still very, very good results. Very good. See, no, no pikes. Everything is pretty, pretty minor here. And on 20 gears, we have 0.06. So the recordings from this deck will be nice. So I'm still thinking if I will recap this deck and change schematic as I did with my other deck, I will compare, listen, and then I will make my decision. I like to see how it will play. Oh, that's a Dolby. Oh. Let's see how it will work with Dolby. So, noisy tape. Let's switch to white noise. That's our tape. Now, Dolby B. Make minor change, like one decibel. Dolby C. Okay, gets higher. I would probably adjust bias a little bit on the left channel to make it even. So it's normal tape. Much. So like that. So it would be even on recording. Okay, and now do BS. See, it keeps well. And now let's see how it will work on minus ten. Minus six. And zero. Uh, zero not possible, but minus ten. Let me see. No BS, Dolby C. Good. Dolby B. Dolby B just cuts off high frequencies. And white noise. Uh, and here without Dolby. Fine. Good. Good results. So see you in my next videos. Bye-bye.